a tease for a 4.6 gigahertz overclock on a 2700X? Looks like something fishy's going on here. Hey guys, Hardware Hound here, back with another news hound. And AMD's Ryzen 2nd Gen pretty much dominated the news cycle last week. I mean, obviously with the processors releasing, all the reviews coming out, kind of makes sense. So I'm not going to really hit on it very much because I already talked about it a little bit last week, but I just wanted to highlight again that it really looked like the 2000 series ruined overclocking and kind of revolutionized it. The 2700X with its XFR2, I mean, if you put a good cooler on it and you don't like to overclock, the XFR2 is probably going to give you the same levels of performance as somebody who manually overclocks or so close that it's barely discernible. That's kind of amazing. That's like overclocking for everybody, not having to mess with settings. And so on one hand, that might have seemed disappointing, but then it dawned on me, huh, the 2700 has a lower TDP and a way lower base frequency. There's no way it's going to boost on its own to the levels that the 2700X would. Overclockers could save themselves some money, but for manually overclocking it, seems like it can pretty easily set up to 4.1, 4.2 gigahertz on all the cores. So that's kind of a neat trade-off. That's a neat way to approach overclocking, and personally, I like it. I feel like that kind of balances out the performance, allowing some people who are willing to take more risk to save some money, but allowing performance to be out there for everyone. Now, Crucial, they are back in the news though, and they released a new RAM kit called, from their ballistics division called the Tactical Tracer RGB. Now, the reason why I think this is such a big deal, guys, is because a lot of RAM has some really flamboyant heat spreaders with their RGB lighting, and I, I don't know, it's just, it looks a little off-putting to me. The Ballistics Tactical Tracer has great, sturdy, nice looking, I really like the heat spreader design on that. But their RGB control is actually looking really advanced. Ballistics said, hey, we're gonna make this as good as we possibly can. So they've got 16 individual LEDs, eight controllable zones. You can take the light bars out or put them in. You can 3D print your own light bars to make your own custom designs which I thought was pretty awesome. Really, the things that Crucial is doing with this ballistic kits looks fantastic. And I really think they are a RAM kit worth checking out. Of course, you know, want to review them first. And I don't know if you've noticed anything, but... <laughs> so keep an eye on my channel. Might have some ballistics tactical tracer reviews coming up. All right, and then finally, guys, I just want to highlight so the Aorus X470 Gaming 7 is right now my favorite looking motherboard. Of course, I love the lighting controls on Aorus, but I think they should tone back that press a little bit. I mean, I saw a slide for a 4.6 gigahertz overclock just a couple of days before Ryzen, you know, second gen was releasing. I'm like, really? No, that's got to be too good to be true. It was way too good to be true. I mean, sure, if you're doing extreme methods of cooling like LN2, you can hit that easily. But your day-to-day -day use overclocking liquid coolers and stuff, you're never going to get anywhere near that. So I was kind of like, ugh, that press is a little bit, ugh. But I still love the X470 board. It looks fantastic. Love the fins on the VRMs to really give those things some extra cooling. I think it's a great looking board. Would love to get a chance to test it out sometime. I might pick one up even just on my own if I can, but maybe, you know, tone down the hype a little bit on those overclock slides. All right, guys, that's about all I have for you on news today. So let me know what you think. Hope you found some things of interest and I will catch you later.